now is I'm going to go through the second example, example number 12. Now here, the, tr the thing that's different with these examples is that we've got a negative number at the front. Now when you have a negative number, when you're multiplying by a negative number, what that actually does is it swaps the sign of all the terms that are there. It's, uh, it swaps the sign of the term that you're multiplying with. So if you remember, when we had minus, when we had a negative times a positive, that gave me a negative. One way you can think of that is you're going, well, I'm multiplying my positive number. Hang on, let me just change that. I'm multiplying my positive number by a negative. So what the negative sign did was swap that positive number to become a negative number. And in the same way, when I multiply a negative by a negative, so here negative times a negative, if you remember when we did this uh, in class, that turned into a positive. So here, instead of having a positive, we've still got a negative sign, we're multiplying that with a negative sign, and what that did was it swapped it and turned it into a positive. So that's what we need to do when we're doing these expansions with our, with our brackets. So let's go through this first one. I've got a minus two, plus five. Now here, we're multiplying the whole of minus x. So here, minus two. We're not just multiplying by the two, we're multiplying by minus two. And what we're doing is we're multiplying that with first the x. And then, now I'm going to make it a little bit different here, and we should have done it in the previous example, but here we're going to multiply it with the plus five. That plus five. So here, like we did before, I'm going to multiply the terms together. So here I'm going to have negative 2 times x for that first thing, first, uh, what's it got, first term. Now because we have a minus 2 times a plus 5, if you have a look at my rule, my plus and minus here, that is going to actually turn the plus sign to a minus sign. So it's going to be minus 2 times 5. Here notice what we did was, because we're multiplying by minus sign over here, that flipped my plus sign over here to become a minus sign over here. So here, when we're multiplying by minus sign, that swaps the sign of whatever operation we're doing inside a bracket. Okay, so let's write this down. So we've got negative 2 times x, so that just becomes negative 2x. We've still got that minus, minus 2 times 5, which gives me 10. So for this example, we've got negative 2x minus 10 as our final answer. So just remember, when you multiply by a negative sign, it swaps the sign of whatever's inside my brackets. Okay, let's have a go at the next one. Negative 3x minus 4. Okay, as I did before, I'm multiplying my negative 3 here. And I'm multiplying that into my x over here. And then I'm going to multiply into my, what's my second term? Well, this time it's actually minus four. So I'm going to multiply that into there. Okay, so let's write this down. I've got negative three times my x. That's okay, we're cool with that so far. Now, because I've got that minus sign and I'm multiplying into a minus nine, negative. So if you have a look at my note that I have just a little bit above me, negative times a negative gives me a positive. So here, this negative sign over here is going to become a positive because I'm multiplying it negative times a negative. So that becomes negative 3 times x plus 3 times 4. Okay, so here negative 3 times x just gives me negative 3x plus 3 times 4 gives me 12. So when we're expanding brackets with a negative number in front, here what you need to be careful of is that the negative sign actually swaps the sign of all the numbers inside my bracket. If I have a positive term inside my bracket, so an additional note that I forgot to mention is that these x's over here, they have a hidden positive one in front of them. They have a positive one, they have a hidden positive one. So that's why they became minus two and minus three over here as well. But when I multiply by a negative, just remember it swaps the sign. If you had a a positive sign to begin with, just like in the notes above, that negative turns that positive into a negative, like here. If you have a negative sign, so if your term is negative, that negative multiplication turns it into a positive, like this. 
So with this, I think there's a few questions that you, for you to have a go at under this example in your books. Have a go at those examples. Feel free to scroll back again and go through these qu examples I've done. Uh, if you don't understand a certain step or need, go 